Hey, what's up with you, man? <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, do you want to give a short introduction or, or a lengthy introduction? It's really your choice. I just shared my screen, so hopefully you should be able to see everything. Yep, got it in. Got it. All right, what are we watching? We are watching an NGS Div D match that we played approximately Bam. a week Two ago. Two months. Since our second match what up, series. everyone? And um, felt a little bit like the draft may not necessarily have gone in our favor, but we were like, okay, we can make this work. And we've been playing together for about a month. Uh, the, the team is called The Bush. <laughs> you guys are The Bush? <laughs> it's us. First off, I'm honored. Second off, or wait, if I might be honored, uh, because I feel like the bush kind of developed on the channel. But anyhow, so why do you not like uh, the draft? I think your guys' draft is fine. The Cassia is a little weird, but um, that. was that it? The Cassia? And my Thrall. Thrall is not necessarily my main hero. Okay, but Thrall is actually fine here. Before we go, is Till and Joe coming in this? I'm here. I am here. Oh. I didn't see yeah, wrong. Uh, yeah, I don't see your guys' portraits as well, but I'm here. Uh, the Cassie, I think, is kind of a weird pick, but we picked her kind of early. So the poke comp coming out kind of punished that. But I had been having success with Cassie in here early, so I thought I'd try her out. Yeah, so she is a little odd, given these circumstances. Uh, you could have gone with a... Okay, they have Hanzo. Uh, Genji could have been hot here. Um, if, uh, Greymane could have been good here. Greymane got banned. Okay. And we picked the Cassie, I think, third, or was it Third overall? Third, okay. yeah. The Maya yeah, so we, we, were, we were not first pick, so we took it in the second rotation, which is how we got the gray main band off of us. Ah, uh, okay. But yeah, that's the only real hero I would look to change up. Do they actually step up their Junkrat this far? Mmm, I really want to find a combo on this guy. Ah, it doesn't really matter though. So, okay, never mind then. I'm not a huge advocate of getting this combo onto Johanna, but if you're in this position, might as well do it. So should we just immediately E back towards your team and then hit the Q and then we can follow up with the, um... Actually, you can you probably kill her here if you get E, Q, Stukov, si or Root, and then Stukov Silence. So, like, right here. Just immediately E, Q backwards towards your team. But then you auto instead, and then she has time to use Iron Skin. So we see the reaction time here not being fast enough to stop your combo. So, gotta get that combo, because I do believe that this is a kill if we have everyone mid like this. Okay, I'm pretty sure on that one I did, didn't did do it on purpose. Okay. I, I wanted the Hanzo and he moved, so I yeah. just didn't do it. Okay. Chunked out pretty hard off that. This is my bad. <laughs> <Did> you, <laughs> I just look bottom and immediately you're like, I'm sorry! <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Thrall is down here. This lasts way too long, so... Ah. Normally, as a healer, I will refuse to clear waves like that, but we needed we couldn't give up Soak. Yes, so the the standard 4 rotation on this map is mid-top. Um, so, Ezelin, just right away, B bottom. Like, as soon as you see Blaze here and you don't think you're getting a pick, just go rotate bottom. So Thrall should be down here, and everyone else should be mid. And if we that's usually do so solo correctly on this map. Okay. Yeah, this was one where I uh. I dip a second time. Yeah, and if Stukov's mid here, then I don't think Garrosh dies. But yep. obviously, I do think it's better that Stukov got the soak, so then mid needed to play back more. Okay, so we gotta reset this. Ezlin's got to be cautious top, getting baited by the minions. You should just be a little Queen Fury away. Still pretty sketchy though. 
Um, when you step up like this and everybody's missing from mid, you have to assume they're coming to gank you because this is the standard four person path. So if you look bottom or mid here, boom, everyone missing. Johanna even paths top off of the minion. So you, this is really good information to, oh man, my game crashed. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah, you're still okay. here. Good. You see Everything the else is working. It just right. looks like it just a glitch. My game has never crashed before like that. All right, let's get back in it. Sorry, guys. It really didn't like me showing vision for your team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm always a little cheeky on Thrall because I'm like, I can just yell. Yo, Call, have you ever actually been to Joshua Tree before? No. Oh my god, you're going to love it. Dude, I cannot wait. I'm you're gonna so love it, excited. Man. I, it's like four hours or so from where I live. I went in high school a couple times. For the, uh, you know, usual partying. Things not to mention on stream. Oh, Monka S. Um, well, they call it, your band needs to hit Calgary, not Edmonton. It's too far of a drive. I definitely played Calgary last weekend. What? Got him. Yep. 100% played Calgary last weekend. Five people from the stream showed up at that show. Ooh, somebody missed it. It was actually really cool. Um, okay, so let's now you have to in. drive to Edmonton. <laughs> hey, that show's all done. Yeah, played Cal or played Edmonton, and then the next day played Calgary. Those were good shows. Both of them were at capacity. Actually, the Calgary one wasn't quite at capacity, but Edmonton one was. Um, Check him while he's down, man. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so we wanted to look at Thrall Vision, right? Yeah, so let's look at Thrall Vision. You see the mid, watch. Johanna even paths upward off of the minion and we see her coming top. Right there. So just gotta be more cautious. In fact, you can mount up and go stand here if you're really worried about because then at least you have a pretty easy escape path if they show here. Okay. Doing pretty good on gems, though. You guys take Siege instead of Bruisers. Okay. If you're able to get this without losing anything, this is really good. And you do. And they don't even turn in off of it, so that's good. And uh, as you know how to stack your Q, or your um, level one talent? It's Mostly, I'm just not very good at it. Yeah, okay. But yes, I'm just on the mini kills, right? Yeah. Wait, that was kind of weird. Fun fend angle there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we identified that as a weird angle, like the first time we saw it. I'm pretty sure I said we and Still... called what happened. Yeah. You did. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, he like just steps out and gets the. That is odd indeed. And then I just. Oh, you, and then you fend yeah. <laughs> into space. Okay. Getting close. I really feel we're going to get some good value here. I'm missing all of mid soak. So let's look at this. Oh, okay, so this is the problem. Um, Are you the standard solo laner, Ez? Yes, I am. Okay, so you are faced with a decision right now. Either push top and force them to rotate top or rotate mid and catch mid. Um, as a solo laner, whenever you are in this situation, it is always go catch the wave that pushes in. Always. Um, because, like, let's say this is just a 1v1, okay? This is Blaze here only, and it's a, there's four bottom, Blaze is mid, and he's this far up on the wave. Like, I mean pace, so, like, all these minions are already this health, so he's this well-paced on the wave, and you are zero damage. Always, always, always come and catch this, because you'll lose nothing off of it, and then Blaze will be top, and he'll be clearing again, but you'll lose nothing off of it again, 
right? At least yeah. that way you lose nothing. This way you put them in a situation to lose something, but if they have a brain, they're just going to send one top and then we lose a lot. So. I can absolutely play that better in the future. losing again right <laughs> I, honestly i don't like this four man bottom like we're getting nothing done but yes at the same time you could be uh doing better to catch these minions do we even get the wall so if this was our plan um we shouldn't have drafted a thrall you know thrall is good yeah. in like long long engaged like we should have the blaze here or malfail Something that can actually, you know, do a double clear or a Zool or something. You know, I don't, I'm not saying draft Zool, but you know what I mean? Like Thrall is not the double clear hero that we need here. Right. We're actually, we, yeah. We ended up talking about that after okay. the match and I was like, oh man. It, it's, I wanted Thrall for the damage and I didn't quite commit to the Zool. Exactly. Well, there was some point in here where we were like, why are you top? Yeah. And then yeah. I switched. Yeah. That was the thing that throws off the boss. Right. So if we just look at the con like the situation here, we had four people bottom and a siege camp, and we don't even get the full wall. They get the full wall, or almost the full wall, off of their pressure because of how little Thrall can deal with that double clear. It's interesting, isn't it? Okay, now Thrall goes bottom. Soon. I smell it. Smell it in the water. Um, you guys, you, you put yourselves. Yeah, okay. You see how wacky this is, obviously. I think I'm down there by four minutes. Okay. Hold you to it. our worst game of the season by the way oh do we get the bind one auto yeah bind him dead nice okay can we play this better so should we mount up and get into this bush boom right here be here Okay, so they see you in here. You, yeah, did they see that? Go right? around the other way. Yeah, so, yeah, go around this way first off. So let's pretend you're in this bush and they don't know you're here. I think you wait here because look how low this guy is. He's insane. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Well, yeah, it does anyways, but you can just run up and throw him over and he dies. Or run up and Q onto this junk rat, uh, throw him over and he dies. This hero should also die if you're here. Nice picks. Okay, losing bottom soak. At least we guys, at least we got something. Um, really need this mid clear or top clear so that we can get enough gems. Okay, now we have them, but we have to focus on mid clear. At least we're closer to seven. Well, it's not really true. You know what I mean? We're close. Okay, this is better now. Really need Thrall's gems in. They're only getting in three here. Not even worth looking at. That one is big. Good. We rotate in for it. But if we overcommit like this bottom, have to have one watching top. Garrosh is sitting in the wave. Who clear. should it be? You. Top? Uh, Garrosh. So like here, this is fine. Garrosh, just stay here. Because you get one auto, two autos, 
Three autos. Four autos. Five. Six. So we trade six auto attacks from a garage um, for 16 gems being traded in. We've got enough clear here. We don't need Garrosh. Garrosh has got to be here. Nice, you guys get it first anyways. That was good. But you still see what I mean, right? Be more cautious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your guys' team name? Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. <laughs> Shame's dead. Okay, something goes wrong here. Nice turn in though. My silence was slow. I didn't see the engagement fast enough. That's straight up why they got away there. Do you know why that is? Because right now you should be seeing, you should see all. Right now you're not even looking at your hero. You're looking at uh, your engager. So you're actually looking at Rune. That's the only thing you care about right now. So you're, you should be at least looking at him. Okay, they're finding an engage. You're stepping up. See, you're focusing so much on this hero. So be more, um, what's the word, map present? Be more outside of your own hero and what's happening locally. Because that's what you should be doing right now. You should be paying attention to what's here. Because you don't have to pay attention to you right now. They can't gank you here, you have vision here. They can't gank you here, you have vision here. This is really the only thing you need to be looking at. Sure, maybe you take a glance top and you're like, hey, Johan is pushing on top, you guys. Like, this sucks. But mainly your, your eyes are here. That's kind of where the follow-up's eyes need to be, right? The follow-up's eyes need to be on the engage. Because if the engage f is found, then the follow-up needs to also be found. So let's find out. Uh, yeah, I agree. And Shui is also just so far back here. Okay, yeah, so if we had the fatty silence. Yeah, nice try, but... Need top cleared. Not Garrosh though. Anyone but you. I agree. So we needed top cleared like yesterday. So as soon as this fails, send like maybe Thrall top, anyone top. We gotta, uh, how do we do this? We do, God, you guys have no wave clear. I have top. <laughs> I have go top, thrall bottom, and then three mid. Yeah, that's it. But it's gotta be faster, so. It's always important to get these waves pushed out, as you guys know. But thrall needs to be bottom, like right now, going. And then Maev already has to be top. Garrosh pushing up here, just getting a body up here. Queuing here, you know. She doesn't walk in like this against a Garrosh, but Garrosh miss missing and showing, like, now going to be okay doesn't show top but garrosh missing like they, they can just take this for free so we decided to push bottom instead but not having our warrior here is a problem okay good at least we're doing this now this is more standard perfect excellent way better okay so hanzo de is dead but they can also kill you that's the problem because if you E Hanzo to the right and then you Q him and you get silence and then found by Maev and Cassia, you get uh, Junkrat Mind over the wall. Just kidding, Junkrat's trolling. Oh, he doesn't have it. Okay, never mind. Junkrat's fine. Okay, cool. Get the kill. Q spam. Dead. Awesome. Nice. Now just get on the wall. Everyone on the wall. That means you, Rune. We didn't get a whole lot off of it, and the reason being is just because we are, you know, like, the Maev into mid instead. 
you know, or sorry, the biggest thing was Garrosh top. That was the biggest thing. We should have had everybody mid so you can actually get some value off of it. Maev pushes up top and then we rotate and then look at their rotations. Make sure that they don't get on top faster. And then we can take the wall and then push in off of that. I think you get a bit more. Okay. So a couple problems. We're not level 10. We're actually very even in experience. And they have turn in. And they just get it for free. So you guys have to set up who you want to be watching these uh, turn ins. Because we just give this one for free. To me, it's Thrall and Garrosh. Everybody else is focused on wave clear. Yep, sounds good. I'm used to having wave clear, so I got sidetracked. Yep. And they get pushed on top. That's so big. We just gotta focus on clearing. They're level 10, gotta be careful. Use um, Indomitable. Ah, that's what it was. Why don't they bless this? Like. Because you guys, in general, just step up too hard here, looking for a fight. But they're they're very clearly level 10. So, like, watch. If this Johanna just straight up right here, walks over here. It's, we're, we're stepped up too far here. We need to be, like, back here. Silence needs to come out here or something. But, like, right here, if Blessed just shows up, Stukov dies. But for some reason, Johanna doesn't use Blessed Shield at all. Okay, now you guys can look for a hard engage. We have health ish. And then taunt it. Oh, this one. I took retarded damage from the uh, spider actually in my positioning where I was standing. It was bad. Okay, no tap. Uh, but yeah, this is the problem. We have to all be as a group here. Um, Shui is very clearly looking for a flank, and this is actually a really good flank opportunity. First, the silence goes down too early. Silence can't be here. You need to be walking and just, you know, maybe looking at a W or something, because the silence oh, is... Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, there's another spot where it's actually, like, right here is where it's perfect. Like, yeah. Landing it right on top of that engage would have been money. Exactly, because that's your guys' combo. Um, you also haven't chosen heroic yet. Yeah, it has to happen here. Oh, and he gets the bomb. No. And the arrow. I guess it would have won that fight. I feel oh, so yeah. terrible about it. Too. I mean, that's fine. Making mistakes is good. It's funny. It's, this happens every single time I do a week, uh, or sorry, a day of community coaching. There's always this like one common problem throughout all the replays. And today it's just been like team fight execution. Just like the standard combo uh wrecking ball groundbreakers silence you know sure my f spams q mashes her face on the keyboard but like that's your guys's combo thrall runs in earthquake from the side warden's cage in there somewhere but who cares it's all about the the taunt and the silence do you think earthquake was the right choice against this comp yes yep Cause like, what does, um, yeah, I like Earthquake against the bunker. Cause I don't really see anything that Sunder does besides from maybe gets, you know, screws over Karazim. It forces the engages from a, from a flank position on top of the DPS and you can put both of those guys in there. 
bad spot for my burst damage, I think. So. Yeah. To me, it's like Earthquake way more frequently. If you Earthquake on top of a bunker, they, as soon as they get out, they're just so slow. Okay, so let's look at this again instead of... That. I don't think I like Valkyrie on this map anymore because of this. Oh, yeah, I didn't even oh, yeah, that. this is where it clips against the wall. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think it's ball. Well, so did you Ooh. see today with, uh, what's his name going ball and getting like three leaps total on it all game? Because it no. just takes terrible pathing? No. Kier took it today and it's RNG ruined it for him. Ah. Wait, where is our. Okay, so you do get the Q and then you go in W. Auto W, this has to get a tethered. Okay, cool. Oh, your containment disc. Weird. I mean, I, I see some value in it. Wait, how does that not reset? <laughs> Q, Q, Q. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna look at this overall real quick, just to see if there's something that I can find. I think I'm back too far, but I was worried about my house. That's so close, but here I really think that we just gotta focus on killing Blaze. It looked really good, it did. So I can't blame you. But here, I'd be just be focused everyone on Blaze. Also, oh no, I see the problem. I see the problem. Oh, the problem is super obvious. My bad. I should have seen this first time. Right here. So walk down. Because you get the Q, but you don't ever trigger your your W. If you walk down, it pulls everybody back in, you get another free Q. Like, it's super easy. And that's enough damage to kill. That's all we had to do is just walk down. Trigger the W. Okay, so... Need wave clear. Top is very important. If Garrosh goes top, I swear, all my life. Nice, okay, good. Love you, Shui. If you go top again, though, you're in trouble, man. Unfortunately, I don't go top. Uh, so... Can you it took guys... a weird rotation here. No, but, like, Cut. why fight? That's my question. Why fight? Well, because, like, I want to know from a shot calling perspective why you all chose to fight instead of just free clear top and bottom. So is it like? I have to, it might have been like looking at a pick on something after we cleared mid. I gotta maybe we go a little bit farther forward. One thing I just want you to be very careful about is using the mentality. I want to get picks, and then with my picks, I want to get more picks. So that is a very, very, um, it's like a downward spiral, you know? Because eventually you're gonna get to the point where you don't find picks, and so then you just have a giant sad face, and it's like, oh, my pick didn't get me a pick. But here, your picks get you free clear on their web weavers. That's what it buys you. Uh, and instead, we lose the fort, and this is going to be pushing in top. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you guys force a fight and then die, actually. Ah, so we definitely see the error of our ways here. Honestly, the play that really pushes us very, very far behind in this game, right there.
Don't worry, we create more opportunities to throw. <clears throat> Excellent. We also somehow yeah. magically managed to stay even. Sometimes I just get these overwhelming feelings when I realize that what I'm doing right now is my job. It's really cool. I love this game so much. Thank you guys for submitting this replay. <laughs> this is a frustrating one for us to play, so I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I am loving this. I love it when you guys screw up. It's so good to me. It just feels... <laughs> like I'm in the wrong lane as the solo laner. I what are you do doing this. as... <sighs> It's not playing a good tomb. That's what I'm doing. I'm telling a Jeez. terrible thing. We this chose is, this map. This too. is at, yeah. We chose this map. This is after we had an excellent Towers of Doom game. Like, nah. Perfect. Yeah. Um. So we have a pretty cool advantage here, right? We've got oh, big yards for a big boy. We got um bruisers, and we have turning, but we want to find that before they get sixteen. Uh, preferably, yeah, okay. Yeah, so th there's also the problem where we get our turn in and they hit 16. But you guys recognize it. You grab your bruisers, gives you some mid presence, and then you step up. We got to overload. Yes, yes, kill them. Yes. Watch this. No! Wee! You go to. Okay, taunt. Really need you guys to work on the combo. So Holy the. Silence has to come out here. Taunt anything, anything to lock this guy down. Do we have root up? Uh, yeah, I use I use root. We have right root, after. but it, root has to happen now. Like root has gotcha. to happen during the stun, or else he just jumps over the wall, right? Yeah. Silence needs to happen. Anything, like anything to to kill this guy. It's got to die. He, I just miss him. Yeah. Freaking. But, so this actually just goes back to what we were talking about before. So our follow-up needs to be paying way more attention to our front line. So us channeling right now, it's a it's a lie. We, we're, not, we're never getting this channel. Not against a Hanzo, not against a Blaze. So this channel is a way to push them in. And if you do, it just means they misplayed. But I don't think we should be banking on our opponent's misplays in situations like this. Basing our strategies off of misplays. That's just, it's a fool's game. So what we're doing instead by channeling is saying... And and the junk rat. Not even not even mentioning the fact that there's a junk rat or just easy blinds from this Johanna. So not even mentioning the other variables. It's very unreasonable for us to sit in a sonic arrow and get a turn in. So right now, if I am Thrall, if I am Stukov, I only care about what Shui and Rune are doing. First Rune, I think up a little bit too much. Maybe just looking at getting pokes. Your W, not so much important. But this, as soon as I see that. I'm already throwing my W. I don't even care if the taunt's showing up. I'm already s silencing this guy as Stukov. Like, you guys have to dummy this guy. And look at this. Rune, you're a god, by the way. This is actually it's so perfect. You cannot get more perfect than this. Look at the synergy between our frontline and our Maev. This is actually perfect, and I want to pump your tires like they're my basketballs, and I'm going to go out and play uh, sports. I don't play sports. I don't go outside. You guys are wrong. But Shooty hoops. <laughs> there you go but see you you proc it so no um palm is available this guy has to this is so effing good by our front line it's not even funny you see how perfect this is yep and i blow it <sighs> not just you this? but stukov i should have that silence down yeah <laughs> 
told you I love these guys. <laughs> Still, just look at our resets. We we win this fight. Got it. So he's forced to palm two people. Okay, fails it. Do we have any CC for the palm? Oh. He made a perfect containment disc, but then didn't hit his A key, and it cost him a kill. That's what Morgan Freeman's saying right here. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. But watch this. So I'm just focusing on rune right now. There's obviously, there's probably stuff to comment on over here. There's the auto. Walk in and auto attack him one time. One time. Even here, this you're in auto attack range, but instead you just Q. He dies. Yeah. Nice try though. But hey, at least we get the turn in. But that was what three kills? I think we could have gotten. Actually, he doesn't even die there. Who cares? Because he should have died here. Need to work on your Morgan Freeman. Did somebody ban Grimbarbs from my channel? <laughs> Can we get a look at quest side? If you have a chance. Pretty sure I did a bad job. Is that how oh, I finished my race? Hopefully that, like, next that week I can submit my replay, but it's point, a team point, lead point, game. Or... Yeah, did I throw my Maya under the bus work. there? Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. This is really, really good. Only problem is the fact that we don't... Have... So I think it's smarter... Okay, they are actually showing. I think it's smarter to go mid here and take mid for it to pick up 16, personally. But the fact that they're showing mid and top is pretty wild. So that means actually we get the free keep. Like, they have to respond to this. See, their their best play here is all being bottom and looking to fight you guys under here. Taunt it. Yes. He hits a money palm there. Uh, so, first off, either save your silence for the combo or silence literally as this is our circle. This yeah, one I know my positioning was off there, 100%. Okay. Oof. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all happening so fast. Ah, wait, I really think that... Okay, where are we? Ah, uh, never mind. Rune can't really do it. I was gonna say, this looks like a beauty containment. Actually, you probably can, Rune, if you're stepped up here a little bit. Um, hit him with the disc. The kerosene? Yes. Yeah, you've got it up here. You could look for it. Ooh, that's so huge. Junkrat gonna ult from the side. Okay, now they have nothing. We're fighting into the Cassia. This is good. Okay. Again, we're just paying attention. We're looking at Radic, but we're mainly paying attention to what Shui is doing. Okay, everyone is looking at that. Backline, whatever, just doing damage. Doesn't matter. Cool. Rotate mid, take mid fort. Okay, you guys I are still looking. for a retreat right there. You can see yep. the ping, but we go back in. Yep. Why? This is... <laughs> So I'm thinking. Because we have Earthquake up was the yep. exact reason at the time. But and there's the Hanzo, I, but... Yeah. And if my silence had been over the wall on top of that Hanzo, he'd be dead. So I'm calling for retreat here. Saying. That's true. I'm That's... calling for retreat because Hanzo and Junkrat positioning. By the time we even get on them at all, we're going to take half our health if we even get to them. So I'm just thinking we back out. 
during our review that's, here, Joe that's why said I... to me, Archer on a hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys can back out. You can also continue fighting because this is an honest 5v4, and if they fight you, then we're up. Like, And you guys have a lot of sustain, and they don't have palm up. So any pick is going to, to land true. They don't have bunker either. So if you can find something, then find it. I think it's fine to stay here. Because uh, else, what do you get? You get mid for it, you get siege. Those are like the big things. Um, but here, I notice. Okay, earthquake goes out. Excuse me. Um, we have no taunt for... So this, I want to point again, rune. So, okay, I'm going to watch this slowly. Because if we can work on our mechanics here, you're going to get way more kills. Let's watch. More kills, Rune. More. He's already pretty. He's at, he actually positions really well. You posi you're in here, right? Yeah, yeah. You position really well. Um, it's just mechanics slightly lacking here. So you, you shark in for the E. Um, could have been a bit deeper, but that's fine. So one auto. You get your Q. You pull him back in. Auto has to come right now. Has to. Because now he's dead. If you auto attack, walk in, and then Q again, your Q is going to be up in, in a moment. Your Q's already up, so he dies. You pull him too far away. Does he go on the other side of the, bu the bush? Oh my god. Yep. I think Cassia could have played the other side here, maybe hit a Q as well, finish this. But I think I'm just not weaving my other in well anyway. But you could have walked down here and accomplished the same feat by pulling him back in and then walk up. Mm -hmm. The other thing we noticed on this is Thrall's Whirlwind, or excuse me, Wind Fury isn't going. So Johanna's able to close that gap and get in front there. But if Thrall had, Thrall had Wind Fury going, he might have been on the feeder to that gap. Hey, this is also just a kill, yep. W and Q. Yeah. I need to hit the Wind Fury earlier. W here too. It goes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. faster, 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 yeah. faster. <laughs> You guys are 5, 1, and 0. This is the one we dropped right here. Bush guns? <laughs> <laughs> See, unfortunately, I, you know, he catches me in the back. That's also up the whole time, which is sad. Yep. I'm bad. <laughs> Thrall is like my... <laughs> Thrall is... It is your first moment, time playing Thrall that I've ever there. seen. So you were kind yeah. of put in a weird spot. I've played him before, but, but I probably should have been on duel. To get things yes, I know. Shush. Shush. I know what the build is. Normally I do it. I'm just like trying to get that Hanzo kill and miss it, and then I panic. Yeah. I managed to heal a cane position all right, but my, my silences were off all game. And I didn't hit one good massive shove. Not one. At this point, I'm thinking also maybe everyone together instead of just the two assassins bottom. But I don't know if that's really yeah, important it's, or not. As shot wise, like I try to get the team back together by around 16 since we do pretty well on picks. Yeah, look to control minion waves because they're at turn in now. Like they only need uh, two gems. So we have to make sure that we have lanes pushed out. That's the big thing. Lanes pushed out make it so much. And that's why I was saying instead of you guys fighting down here, you just go mid, take fort, and then take siege. Because opening up forts makes it so much harder for the, them to turn in because then you can actually push the minion waves deeper way harder for them to just walk up and turn for free and that's my misplay on on two macro because i knew i was screwing up something about calling this it's making me really nervous you know i got greedy for the keep down there i was like well we can maybe snowball this mm -hmm. be greedy. So and aside you, from a couple misplays mechanically in that bot lane, we theoretically could have taken that fight and that keep. So, I mean, it, it is one of those weird things about the shot call, right? Yes. They play with the risky play. Yeah. Yep. You, you, you just make a decision, and, and that's what just what happens. Like, yeah. not much you can do. The, each decision in this game has variants of one kind or another. Most, <laughs> you mean, like 99% of the time, decisions have variants, and that was just one of the variations that could have happened. Yeah, I think I probably overvalued keep and our access to it. Ouch. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so... This is where it goes all wrong for us. Yeah, so the problem here is we're going to taunt Johanna. We don't have a way of killing her off the taunt, and then we're going to get, like, uh, Dragon Arrowed, which is going to be huge, and then also just a massive jet propulsion from the side. I'm pretty sure they can just wipe us here with Junkrat on top of it. Yeah, and then right Johanna's going to bless throw, us. She's right where she wants to be. Yep. Right in the middle of the theme. It's like if Johanna had a dash. I almost said something bad. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. I don't think there's a real way of avoiding this from happening, aside from just not throwing her in. Okay, the silence is down. Why My one good silence all game, and it's unfortunate that it kind of <laughs> doesn't go the way we want, too. Okay, well, you guys can at least... Oh, the yeah. shove. That was the problem. You guys could have all got out if the shove didn't come through. And then everyone goes back in to try to save. I figured I would have gotten way more value out of flailing swipe this match than the massive shove. Like a ton, it's just easier to land. Yeah, we just have to be backing out here. Um, you can step in and throw a rune too, instead of queuing into the fray. You'll likely still die, but it's better that you die than my have. Maybe actually, you have a higher chance at surviving. But yeah, you could have used into the fray onto Maev. Okay, now they're keep. Because they get boss. Ooh, oh wait, no, this is the end of the game. I see it now. Yeah, straight up. Yep. Um, so your guys' early game needs way more um, solidification. You guys have to have a plan going into it. Make sure that your solo laner is in the right lane. Make sure you guys are rotating properly. Everybody's paying attention to what each other's doing. Oh, the bless whiffed. Um, and then aside from that, just better execution. So there's some kills that were missed when we had our combos and then the silence wasn't followed up right away and, and all that jazz. But, um, yeah, that was basically the big one. And then also just making sure that we have people designated for control over uh, watching turn-ins on both sides. Those are the big things you guys missed. Yeah, I, I blame myself a lot of the map calls personally. Like, we just finished doing towers, and I was. That was way more demanding for me. And I'm like, on two, I'm like, okay, I can be lazy, because we just really. Uh, you know, I got. I baited myself into the 12 pick, and I. You know, I could have done a Dahaka here, it may not have been the best choice, but. Nope, there's five people too. Clear. Too. Yeah. Um. Yeah, GG. Uh, we went over all the things that I thought were worth mentioning. So, uh, But yeah, biggest thing is just synergy. Again, it's kind of been the name of the game so far today. So work on that. I look forward to seeing you guys' replays in the future. Any specific questions for me? Anyone else, people? Yeah, we're working on draft synergy and some other stuff. And that really helped me personally in terms of like how I should be valuing this map and what I should be looking to accomplish. Excellent. Um, what? Why can't I look at your talents? Uh, don't go Tempest Fury. <laughs> That's all. Um, was it Thunderstorm? I think is the sixteen. Blood, for blood is okay. That's at f uh, four, or sorry, that's at seven. She's uh, ancestral sorry. wrath. Uh, yeah. Sixteen is. Uh, I, I think it's called cool. Thunderstorm. Okay. It's the one where you, if you alternate your cues, it gives you that crazy slow. <gasps> yes. Yeah, that one's yes, big. Definitely, that one would be bay for this. Yep. Um, Anything yeah. else you think I need to work on with Garrosh? Yes. So your early game, you were spending way too much time. Like, there's the one where you rotated in here, show on the wave, and then sit in the bush. Just yeah. avoid showing on minion waves. You were Garrosh, and if you can get into a bush and nobody knows you're there, you're a god. Uh, and then other times where you're just kind of like spending too much time auto attacking the minion waves. I mentioned, I was like, we spent six auto attacks here and we yep. could have very well missed the turn in. Uh, so basically just being more aware of your positioning and what you're doing to put pressure, because if you're showing on a minion wave, you know what that does. It just allows them to do whatever the hell they want. 
Uh, and the other one was if there's ever side soak, it's like 98% Not. of the time ever you going to get it. Exactly. I think that's a lot. I usually, uh, most of our games, I've played Johanna, where it's kind of acceptable for me to do that. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, like that's the comfort, big thing. Comfort uh, rotation. But yeah, I definitely look forward to seeing another one of you guys' replays in the future. The Bush, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for submitting this one. Yeah, thanks for working with us. Have an awesome night. Of course, of course. Catch you later. Bye.